New tonight at 5 o'clock, the president's infrastructure bill means big projects and jobs for Connecticut. And the passage of the $3 trillion plan is expected to overhaul transportation. Our chief political reporter, Susan Raff, is live in Hartford. She is along 91, where uh, any improvement would probably be a good thing for travelers. Right, Susan? Right, Mark. We're actually at a truck stop here, and who better to talk about the roads than those who drive them all the time? Now, we did have a chance to speak to several truck drivers today, and they all say, without a doubt, they want things to get better. I mean, I think it's pretty good that they're doing that. We do need, there's a lot of, like, Hartford roads are kind of messed up, you know, but we'll see how it goes. Abel Castillo just started a new job, but he's been driving trucks for a while. Connecticut is poised to get more than $5 billion dollars to overhaul roads, bridges, and rail. Getting somewhere on a train will be faster. A trip from New Haven to New York City will be about 30 minutes shorter. Connecticut's congressional delegation gathered at Union Station in Hartford. They fought hard to get this done. Because this infrastructure bill arguably matters more for Connecticut than any other state in the nation. Right? The return on investment in Connecticut when it comes to infrastructure, spending is enormous. Here's how the money is going to be spent. More than $5 billion to repair roads and bridges and Metro North, where some of the system is 100 years old. Money will also overhaul the Gold Star Bridge in New London. The north side needs extensive repairs. Whether it's by train, whether it's by plane, whether it's by bike path, this infrastructure plan is both broad and dynamic. The plan will also have a huge impact on the economy, creating thousands of jobs. How would you describe the roads the way they are now? It's in bad shape. Kali Ramsey is all for better roads, but he'd like to add something to the list. Larger places for truckers to park. But we also need place to park the trucks. That would be a good thing. That would be a good thing for part of the infrastructure. Plenty of ideas to improve transportation. This plan will not only create lots of jobs, but good paying jobs. But keep in mind, these are some pretty big projects, so it could take a while. We are live tonight in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.